All right, here's Desmond Mason of the Seattle Supersonics, rookie from Oklahoma State, first round pick of the Sonics. Oh, Mason trying to put it between the legs. Oh, he attacked the front of the rim. Here's another guy. No sweat. <laughs> yeah, you got to get loose. You got to get loose to try that the first dunk the without first sitting on the dunk. bench. Oh, my goodness. That's kind of like the first pitch from Ryan Duran coming out of the bullpen years ago. <laughs> Ryan Duran. He can make that dunk, though. He can make it easily if he was sweating. I agree. Uh, the czar with a sense of history. Quoting. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do like coach used to do in practice. Everybody take three laps and come back in. <laughs> Get ready to practice. You're not ready to practice yet. And here's Desmond Mason of the Sonics. First round pick of Seattle began the season of the starting lineup, but uh, Nate McMillan shuffled that lineup. Oh, nicely done by Desmond Mason. A little more confidence that time coming out. Got the first one behind him. Came back with a little confidence there. Well, this isn't too impressive. Again, this is a dunk every day. He tries to cradle it, but then he changes his mind and just goes with the basic reverse dunk. Yeah, the ball slipped out his hand. You know. Good dunk, but a game dunk. I've seen it in a game. I want to see a game dunks that you have never seen in a game. And over just squat them right there. He's not going to jump over him, is he? Well, if I was uh, Rashad Lewis, we talk about Rod. Rod. We talk about Rashad. inexperience. We talk Rashad. about naiveness. I would not let him jump over me if I was Rashad Lewis. Desmond Mason positioning his. Seattle teammate Rashard Lewis. He, he needs a 48. Uh oh. He might go on his back and then do it. How about that? Can you run up his back, jump off his back, and dunk it? You can. You can for for six. <laughs> you want to put your, the team's best player out for the rest of the year? Oh, uh, Mason got a piece of Lewis. They're gonna give it to him again because that ball that wasn't a, an attempted dunk. Kick in the back. Receive. It's a slip, but in a game, if that slips, the other team gets the ball. That's a that's a dunk for me. Oh, Desmond Mason once again making contact with teammate Richard Lewis. Took a couple of hits. Richard Lewis hugging him and thanking him for not landing on him. You gotta see the replay here, Kenny. Did he really jump over the top of him? From our angle, we can't really tell if he jumps over him. He doesn't jump side of him. He goes right over the top of him. That's impressive. It's impressive. It, it, it really is. But and also that's better than Baron Davis's dunk. Okay, but he let threw me the ball you. up right by the rim and he caught it and dunked let it. Let me tell you why. Vince Carter jumped over a human being that was seven foot three standing up. This guy had this, he had to bend the mo. He had him with Sean Lewis bending over. I gotta give him a nine. I've seen somebody do it in a game over someone seven foot three standing. End of story. But Kenny, that was international play. But that's still better than Baron Davis's dunk. <laughs> and in this final round, so what? each player will attempt two dunks, either solo or with a teammate assisting. The combined score of the two dunks will determine the champion. Here is Desmond Mason. Ooh. That's like the old Michael Jordan, a little bit different angle, but with the left hand again instead of the right. He's getting better and better as his competition goes on. You see his confidence has grown now. He feels very comfortable. He's showing us something here. That's impressive dunk right there. It looks a lot better in slow motion, too. Yeah, if I had the benefit of slow motion, I might have even raised my score, but I didn't. <laughs> Fast motion, I give him a nine. But that's good right there. Those used to be tens. When Michael Jordan did that, it was a ten. Yeah, because he's the first to do it. It's easy to copy what someone else has done. Make the blueprint and build the house is much more difficult. And we now come down to the final dunk of this final round. And this is Desmond Mason of the Sonics. Now he's leading Kenny, but he had a miss. So he doesn't get a replacement. He's got to come up with a good one here to maintain his lead. But he's been the most consistent. 
Doesn't count. Ooh, if he pulls this one off, though. Yeah, if he pulls that off, you know, he, he, he's he, a winner. He can take the trophy home. He's got 25000 and he's got a new nickname for me on Monday. What? I don't know. I'm going to come up with it. Thank you. How many of those tries do you get? I remember last year, the word was three. Yeah, but, Larry Hughes. I think that's the Larry debatable. Hughes rule. Yes. That's the Larry Hughes rule. And Mason connects on his third attempt. Safe than sorry. That's what we just saw there. Well, I'll tell you what. If you would have been able to pull off that first one, that uh, would have clinched it. It just goes to show you how awesome Carter was last year we were able to do that, but this is still impressive. Mason has been the most consistent dunker so far in the competition. Most consistent dumper, dunker by far in the competition. All right, here is the score. Desmond Mason of 44. And a total of 89. There's no question that Desmond Mason of the Seattle Supersonics, the rookie from uh, Oklahoma State. Hey, I gave you, I gave you a low score, but I didn't give you lower than what they got. Hey. No question about it. Congratulations. If you could have pulled off between the legs, you would have got good I scores. kept in my pants. He would have had a nickname for Thanks you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Well, Desmond Mason, the most consistent dunker. You win the championship. Tell us what you tried to accomplish here. The main thing was just to come out and just have a lot of fun. Uh, you know, we had a bunch of young guys in the dunk contest this year, and uh, you know, just kind of getting their face out there and have the opportunity to come to All-Star Weekend, which has uh, been a dream of mine for a long time. But you know, just come out and have fun. If you win, you win. If you lose, you know, have fun doing it. Did you look at some of the past dunkers, like the great champions, like Michael Jordan, Dr. J, Dominique Wilkins, Vince Carter, and try to learn something? I mean, you could try to, but you know, all those dunks, they, uh, you know, they did those early, and uh, it, it's, you know, it's becoming, you gotta come up, be more creative right now, and you know, that's what I tried to do today, and I think all the guys tried to do, if you can see that, be a little more creative, be unique about your dunks, and you know, it's kind of hard with all the dunks that's been taken away from us today. Great victory, you represent the Seattle Sonics, but also you represent your alma mater, Oklahoma State. How difficult is this time then for you after the plane crash and the tragedy that happened at Oklahoma State? It's been hard. I mean, I've been thinking about it every day. Um, it's hard to get off your mind. There's so much speculation. Um, you know, there's a little closure on the situation, me having an opportunity to go back, but uh, it's still hard to, to lose some friends in, in that manner. And, um, you know, I'm just trying to deal with it the best way I can. My teammates are helping me in Seattle. Uh, my family back in Oklahoma State. My family in Texas are helping me out get through the situation.